Hey everyone, TGS 2020 has occurred and Capcom, especially Matt Walker and Itsuno-san have done a presentation about Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition and they've also elaborated on some key details and gameplay changes, not just Virgil that we'll be experiencing in Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. One key upgrade you've probably seen in the trailer is that Devil May Cry 5 has an implementation of turning on ray tracing. Now, ray tracing is a ability to make the game's lighting and reflections much more realistic than the standard game. The only drawback to this is that it may make the game look better, but the game will only run at 30 frames per second in 4K. But he does say that you can actually get 1080p at 60 frames per second, and if you turn off ray tracing and other features, you can actually get the game to run at 120 frames per second compared to the PS4 Pro version. If you saw the PlayStation 5 unveiling of Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition, you probably saw that there's a new mode being implemented into the game called Legendary Dark Knight Mode. Now, I was watching this trailer, and in my reaction trailer, I actually thought this was kind of like a Dynasty Warriors mode, but it's not that at all. I was being extremely foolish. What this mode actually does is, uh, with the graphical and horsepower of the PlayStation 5 or the Series X, when you play this mode, double the amount of enemies will appear and attack Nero, Dante, or V while you're trying to get through the levels compared to other modes. But don't just focus on the difficulty and the hordes of monsters coming your way in Legendary Dark Knight mode, because Devil May Cry 5 actually has a feature in it called Turbo Mode that will be implemented. And in Turbo Mode, it seems like your characters attack and move at twice the speed. Itsuno-san and Matt Walker were talking about how when you play on this mode, and you go back to normal mode, you're like, wow, was it really this slow? That's how fast the characters move in comparison. Finally, the highlight that we all see and we are all looking forward to is, yes, Virgil will be playable in Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition. He will have new cutscenes and a uh, new gameplay style. We don't know if the concentration mode will be in there. I wasn't able to see his HUD during the TGS presentation. I'll show you guys this small clip of gameplay that we have. Let's get started already. That's like, okay, you have 10 seconds. I will only let you show 10 seconds of this. Everybody's waiting, and now you can hear him counting down the amount of time you have. This is just everybody being super excited. Go, show more, be more flashy, do all the crazy things. Two, we're on, and we're over. That gameplay was a small little clip exclusive to TGS, so they didn't show the actual HUD or anything like that. All of it is blocked out with logos, so we'll see when more information ar arises or when we get around to November, right? And then finally, I wanted to let you guys know that Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition will include all of the DLC and the extra pre-order bonuses from Devil May Cry 5 on PS4 and Xbox One. So you'll be getting all of the Devil Breakers that were included with the Deluxe Edition, all the additional background music that you can select while you fight the demons, including Virgil Battle 2, which I love to use with Dante, and uh, Cavalier R, the new different version of Dante's motorcycle and Devil Arm, and the live action cutscenes that are extremely corny. It will all be there for you day one with the game. Okay, so that's gonna do it for my Devil May Cry 5 Special Edition TGS update, where I broke down some of the gameplay modes for you guys and got you a better description of what's going to be included. I hope you enjoyed it. I also wanted to thank you guys because all the likes and love and the views on the Devil May Cry 5 content that I've been getting has been extremely humbling and a huge honor as a content creator, especially getting some word from Casey Edwards, the god himself. So thank you guys so much for watching. If there are more Devil May Cry 5 updates with Special Edition, I will be sure to let you know. And that's it for me, so see you next time.